A local group, group of sewers is helping organizations across southern Arizona through their craft. Nine on your side, Tina Giuliano shows us how the team are mending souls and stitching the community together through their work. Three times in her life, Leslie Hogaboom fought cancer. I was first diagnosed with ovarian cancer. So after that, from the treatment from that and whatnot, I ended up having breast cancer. The second time I had metastatic breast, pet, breast cancer, so it was in my um, pelvis. And when she lost some of her hair, she felt like she lost some of her femininity. Kind of like, I didn't want to lose my hair and my breasts, so to speak. So wearing the caps was real helpful. At first, I didn't have any wigs. Wigs are extremely expensive and very hot. The caps and headbands she wears are handmade by a group called Mending Souls. I've, I've told everybody that I know about it. It's a team of hundreds of volunteers. What I like most is that there's something for everyone. We have people whose focus are pets and we have things for them to do. And starting with a donation of fabric or yarn. It's over 50 different items in 30 categories. And yes, everything you're looking at goes to rehabilitation for safety and dignity. They get to work creating everything from bags for domestic violence survivors to cloths for preemie babies. The recipients are chronically ill or those who are struggling financially. Once the pieces are finished, the items are shipped out. So as you can see here, there's our categories and that includes domestic violence shelters as well as homeless shelters. And Hogaboom, who now fosters and adopts kids, is grateful for each stitch. I think it's going to be a great thing for them to be able to utilize the help from here. And, and then, again, you know, they can help other people. Maybe they want to donate their time. Tina Giuliano, KGA 9, on your side.